In this tip of the day, let's take a look at how we can add a chuck to our lathe project within one CNC. Now this is very simple to do, but you will need to have some geometry created for your chuck beforehand. Let me give you an example of what I created a little bit earlier. I just created a very simple solid model. I have the chuck and I just have one jaw here. Now this chuck can be saved anywhere on your computer or network as long as you have access to it. Now this does not need to be open, so let's close that down. All right, so if I want to add the chuck to my lathe project, all I need to do is this. Just head up to the top of the screen, select File, and then Merge File. Now it's important that you use Merge File because Merge will actually merge the geometry in without deleting the existing geometry. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to take the chuck and we want to move it so that it's nice and flush against the base of the part. So let's go down to the lower right hand corner and let's go into our verify tools. Now you can locate your verify tools just by clicking on verify and I'm going to use this option right here which allows me to measure the distance between two points. I'm just going to left click any point on the face of the chuck and then any point on the base of the part. And if I look over here, I can see that I need to move the geometry two inches. All right, so let's hit the space bar twice. We're gonna select the chuck and the jaw. I like using the marquee tool. You don't even need to surround the entire geometry. Just make sure the marquee passes through the geometry just like that. Let's head over here to move. And we're gonna be moving this incrementally. Now, if you don't see your incremental parameters, just click on the ink button and here we're going to move it in X two inches and then click OK. All right, that's looking good. All right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to move our jaw. So again, I'm going to come over here to our measure tools or our verification tools. I'm going to left click just one point on the end of the jaw and a point on the diameter of the part. And if I look over here, it says the Y distance is just over an inch. OK, so let's left click the jaw. We're going to go back into move, move incremental, and I'm just going to move it minus one inch, just like that. That looks great, so I'm going to click OK. Now with that jaw still selected, let's rotate that by going into our rotate command. We're going to rotate around X0, Y0, Z0. We'll click OK. Make sure copies is set to two. And for rotation, in this example, we're going to use 120 degrees and click OK. This is a great feature provided by all 1CNC CAD CAM systems. It especially comes in handy when you're previewing or simulating toolpath. If I come over here and right click on our toolpath group and select preview toolpaths, you can see that 1CNC is showing the actual part, the chuck, the jaws, and the toolpath. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.